Finding a spare change in your couch or realizing that your favorite pair of socks is still in the laundry basket, there are some unexpected joys in life. Yeah, I hope this doesn't fall because it stands on the laundry basket. I like it, Kaji. And in a car world, there's a sweet spot when not a lot of money meets horsepower, creating the perfect concussion for beginner drifters. So buckle up and get ready to slide into the world of affordable sideways action with the list of the top five surprisingly potent and budget-friendly drift cars for up to $5,000. Maybe you can see, but the sun is right in my face. There. Yeah, that's a little bit better. Anyway, because who needs a tax refund when you can invest in the angry box of controlled chaos on wheels? This could be summed up with my favorite quote from Jeremy Clarkson. Power! Power this isn't a complete list by any means because there are many more cars that could end up in the video and probably will at some point, but just some examples to get you up to speed with drifting. And if you like this kind of content, please do consider subscribing. I would love to create more content like this for you and like the video, please. The first candidate on our list is BMW E36, which probably by now, if you're into drifting, and if you're not, you should be, you probably know by now. BMW E36. Straight from the land of Lederhosen and the ultimate test of sense of humor, Germany. Because when you think precision engineering, auto bounds and a good chuckle, you think of the perfect recipe for drifting sensation. So brace yourself for a Teutonic twist in my lineup, proving once and for all that German engineering is not about auto bounds, it's also about drifting to unexpected levels of fun. <laughs> These cars came out with a wide variety of engines from lethargic diesels and small petrol units to petrol 6 foot engines that are about as fragile as an anvil. You might want to look for a cast iron block in 50 engine, but the aluminium ones are good as well. For around $5,000 you can get yourself one, often comes with turbo already, some people do turbo then, so great deal. $5,000, 300 horsepower, achievable. Next thing on our list is Nissan 350Z or 350Z. Japan gave us Godzilla and then they gifted us the 350Z, proving that drifting is their secret weapon right up there with their karaoke skills. So get ready for an amazing journey where the only cherry blossoms falling on your face are the burnt rubber petals left behind by Sideways Warrior. And this car came equipped with a brilliant 3.5 V6 engine that has an unmistakable sound. <laughs> The versions came with a limited slip diff, the HR version made over 300 horsepower with mountains of torque. Next on the list is Volvo 940 Turbo, launching into the world of sideways thrills with the Volvo 940, a marvel straight from the land of beautiful fjords and ABBA hits and the uncanny ability to assemble anything from the flat pack furniture to a perfect drift. Because when you think of Sweden, you think of sleek design, Nordic efficiency and a car shape as aerodynamic as a barn. The Volvo is not just a car, it's a four-wheeled embodiment of Swedish ingenuity ready to slide into your DMs. With the brilliant B230 Redlock engine, which is about as reliable as a boulder or a rock and as easy to mod as a Play-Doh, you would be surprised to know what these boxy looking cars can do. And for 5k I'm pretty sure you can get yourself a nice unmolested example. They often come with LSDs, the turbo version has a unique self-tuning ECU, the LH2.4. So if you want to increase your boots, you can do so, drive around a little bit and it should tune itself to some extent. Nice. <laughs> Lexus IS300 is the next. Have you ever heard of Toyota Supra? Is that a Supra? Dude, is that a Supra? Have you ever heard about its engine? The 2JZ? The regular family looking sedan was equipped with the same 2JZ engine. Meet the Lexus IS300. 
The Clark Kent of family sedans, the same engine as the Toyota Supra, it's the same engine that turned Toyota Supra into the speed legend that it is. Now chilling in a car that looks like it's heading to PTA meeting basically, but on track it turns into a Superman. <laughs> Most of the time they come as automatic, but you can swap them to manual quite easily, so you can get them. And they do like turbo. And the last car on the list is Opel or Vauxhall Omega. What is this? Opel? Is it a tractor? Opel? The drift list. What? Not many people know that Opel was known once for making the real wheel drive cars, quite good ones as well. And not many people know that they can do this. <laughs> with its 170 horsepower 2.5 v6 engine makes a great sleeper of a car the police won't bother you you can take your kids to school and then promptly after go ahead and explode some tires say less i will just leave you here to let that information sink in and if you like this video please do consider subscribing thank you very much for watching if you made it that far i love you guys and i will see you next bye Thank you.